everyone, it's Renee from Party Host Helpers, the owner and CEO. It's Party Tip Tuesday, so we are talking about appetizers today. Now, of course, we all know how easy it is to throw together a cheese board, but it can be overwhelming when you've seen some pretty intense ones at other parties or restaurants. Well, I have some tips to help you replicate your favorite restaurant cheese board or cheese plate, whatever you like to call it. I like to use a cutting board, so we'll start with that. If you have anything wooden, that gives it the whole, you know, cheese board look. And I'm just gonna start with the cheese and tell you what I got. I'm on a little bit of a budget when I'm throwing a party, as most of you are, because it can just get really out of control. So, and especially if you wanna afford to have a party host helper, which is definitely a priority at your party, um, you know, you wanna set a budget on food and drink. So I started with Gorgonzola from Trader Joe's. So good. So this is your, um, you know, it crumbles a little bit. It's gonna take me a minute to open this, but it's a little bit more <clears throat> poignant. It's not so mild. So this is the one on the on the board. This is the cheese on the board that will, I think, really stand out to those who enjoy um, a lot of flavor in their cheese. So I'll unwrap this. And here's the thing: is it looks so nice on a board if you don't cut them ahead of time, and it also keeps them fresher. Because how many times have you cut small slices of cheese and then your guests are like two hours late and by the time, you know, people get their hands on it, it gets kind of dry from sitting out. So that's another reason why you should hire a party host helper. Um, a lot of our hosts slash clients say that they love that they didn't waste food at the end of the night because the party host helper is there to actually wrap it up halfway through the night or replenish it. There we go. There's my gorgonzola. Um, Next, I have a, an extra sharp cheddar cheese. This will also give you a lot of flavor, but it's a little bit more of a crowd pleaser. So I'm just gonna cut this right here. And this was literally, it was 250. This is so good. And I would actually do the whole block of this as well. Maybe cut it in half. Save some for later. It's really good. Hmm. I love the, the flavor of that. My third cheese, which is my absolute favorite, I know I just said that was my favorite, obviously I have a problem with cheese, is the brie. This is a crowd pleaser, people love it. It's kind of like the fancy part, it's the fancy, <laughs> the fancy cheese, right? I mean, but seriously, if you're Joe's, it was $3. If you go to a regular grocery store or specialty, they're up to like $10. This is a great price for cheese. Again, put this out just as is. Uh, I would put a little knife with this so you can cut it. And then we get to our toppings and flavors. I have thick butter. I was just looking to see what was in it. It's a little bit sweet. So put it in these cute little dishes. I think this would be delicious over some brie and a cracker. Also with the gorgonzola. I don't know about you, but I love olives. So we have some olives to place around, green or black. And then let's get to the meat. Some nice mix here. It's also really impressive if you just have a small dinner party. Make together, you know, a mini version of this. It's the perfect start to your to your meal. I have some verjus. I'm, not, I'm a little Italian, not all the way Italian, so I don't say it like my relatives. <laughs> um, you know, you can just place this if you prefer to roll it up. That always looks nice. Some, um, like some pepperoni, some chorizo. People like this with their cheese. And then, of course, the mustard goes really nicely, I think, with the cheddar. <clears throat> Whoops, this bowl, I think, was for the olives. <laughs> All right, or you can spread them around just like that. And then last but not least, I like putting a sausage on here. This is turkey sausage. It's from Trader Joe's again. It's 
the summer sausage. I'm not sure. Um, I've actually never tried it, but I think it's probably delicious. Um, and this is something that your party host helper can just keep an eye on, make sure that it's cut, make sure guests are okay. I would probably cut this sausage ahead of time. Um, and then, what, what am I missing? The crackers. I love these Kraft Pepper crackers. They're light. I think with when you have good cheese like this, and when you spend time and money on a beautiful cheese plate, you don't want really heavy. I don't love serving it with um, bread because it, it's heavy. It fills you up. I prefer something light and crisp to complement the delicious cheese bread. So I don't like to put my crackers on the same plate as this. So I would put these in a basket. Um, another beautiful table, or not table. I'm sorry. Another beautiful tray. And ta-da, make it yourself cheese board, just like your favorite restaurant.